Hi Aquarius. Um, welcome. Or welcome back to Heretic Owl Tarot. We are talking about February today. Um, man, I will tell you. <laughs> this is the third time I'm trying to make this video. And it's just been, um, for lack of a better word, a bit of a shit show. So, you know, if that energy is kind of playing out in your world, you know, like I, um, I get it. Uh, but it's almost like not necessarily in a bad way. It just, it kind of, it just seems like, um, it really honestly just kind of seems like there's some sort of like shift happening. And, you know, there's a lot of chaos between like getting from one place to the other. So, you know, like in the midst of the shift, it can be a little bit kind of like chaotic. And so, I don't know. We'll, we'll just kind of see what comes out in the cards, of course. Um, I'm not attaching a story to anything. Um, so we are using the Light Seers Tarot this month. And um, it's also been kind of interesting. I love this deck. This is one of my favorites. And um, my attention has been drawn to the cards that are on the bottom of the split when I shuffle the cards. So like before I start the videos I shuffle a bunch of times and um, you know kind of connect to the light beings and guides and everybody that I hope to work with for these messages and kind of get calibrated to your energy and um, usually I don't even like necessarily see the the splits because I, I kind of shuffle like this way so I don't ever really see the bottom but anyway blah 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 um, the cards that were at the bottom of the split for you was the, um, the hanged man and the knight of wands, which is kind of a, an interesting energy because <laughs> they're almost at face value. It's almost kind of like totally separate, totally different opposite energies. Like the hanged man talks about kind of willful suspension and the knight of wands is you know, kind of playful and going for it, right? Like, um, throwing caution to the wind type of thing. So, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, you could have been in the hanged man energy for some time. Um, you know, cause the, the hanged man also talks about, um, seeing things from a different perspective. Um, you know, there's usually a halo around the person's head. So it has to do with enlightenment as well. Um, so, you know, I mean, there definitely could have been a situation that you might have been or an energy that you might have been hanging out in. Um, and that kind of caused you to almost kind of have this shift in focus, um, or like this realization of like not taking things too seriously and kind of going with what feels good for you. Um, which I love. I mean, I'm, I'm here for it. So, um, I mean, we'll just kind of, again, we'll see what kind of comes out in the cards. Um, and as a recap, or for those who are new, we do a four card spread. The center card is the current energy to the left of that is any, um, potential blocks underneath is advice to clear the block. And the last card is the energy that we're heading into. I don't shuffle reversals into the deck, but, um, you know, if the card falls out and it does a, a flip and lands in the reverse, we'll take it that way. Um, my intention is for one card to come out at a time. If two cards come out together, we'll take them. But any more than that, um, we'll put it back in the deck because we just want the, the story to be clear. The card does have to fall out of the deck if it flips in the deck. Um, we'll just flip it back over um, because, again, we want the message to be clear. <laughs> so um, I think, is that everything? Um, I know you guys are like an air sign too. And it just, again, you know, like it just, my crown just feels like almost com like just open. It just... Um, and again, not in a bad way. I'm not saying like, I feel, I do want to say that I feel air heady, but not in a bad way. It just kind of, it just feels like, 
um, you know, even that you're just maybe just really um, into kind of your own energy, which is awesome, right? Like you should be. So, <laughs> all right, let's get going. So what is the current energy for Aquarius? Current energy. <laughs> we have the hanged man and the three of cups. And then the ten of pentacles or ten of um, hello. The ten <laughs> of cups underneath there. I apologize in advance. I don't know what is going on with me. So here's that hanged man again. And we have the three of cups, the ten of cups. I mean, obviously, well, you know, the, the cups have to do with our emotions. Um, so, you know, I mean, this hanged man, you could be, you could have been, um, really intentionally, you know, just kind of sitting in your emotions about a situation. The three of cups has to do with our network, our support group, our friend group. Um, it also, you know, it kind of talks about celebration as well. So, um, there could have just been, um, you know, like a situation again, that, um, came into your life and you had uh, a shift in perspective around seeing it differently. This could have to do with your family. And family can be, of course, biological. It could be, um, you know, the family that you created, you know, like friends. Um, it could be work. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune underneath that. So there's obviously been like a shift in that. This could also be like, I mean, you could have maybe found a new, um, I'm getting this like, um, a new home, but like, you may have just kind of like found your, um, soul family is kind of like what I'm getting. <clears throat> yeah just kind of like coming out a period of um make sure you can see all these cards in here It's just so interesting to me because, like I said, you know, I I have this feeling in my head <laughs> space, right? Um, and, you know, like I was saying with the hanged man, you know, there's generally a halo. And in this depiction, there's kind of like the starburst um, coming around their head. And for the blocked position, we have the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Heavy mental stuff. <laughs> like, and of course, you know, the swords are the air cards anyway. So, you know, again, like just, you know, like kind of sitting in your own energy here. Um, but this is very mental, right? Like, I mean, the, the swords are anyway, it has to do with our thoughts and intellects, right? But... The five of swords, I mean, you can just kind of see him here, right? Like just the depiction is um, this this grief or um, headache, right? The, the fives have to do with conflict and competition almost. So um, the eight of swords here, like, you know, in the mirror, her eyes are covered. She feels bound. But really, she's not, right? So, you know, the Eight of Swords talks about putting ourselves in a mental prison. Um, it's kind of self, 
self inflicted really like we have we can get out of the energy if we want to and then we have the two of wands and the two of pentacles um on the bottom of the deck you know the two of wands so this to me um before i i start kind of talking about over here <laughs> This to me, you know, whatever the situation is, right? I mean, this is a general reading. Um, I'm not necessarily focusing on just one specific aspect of life, right? So it could be anything, work, family, you know, love life, whatever. You specifically is generally what my focus is. But um, the block may be that you have been trying to maybe even kind of barrel through things like again you know with the five of swords being more of like the competition you could have been just trying to mentally like outwit people there could be people in your life who are being manipulative in that sense um this eight of swords you know like it could be a situation that you just feel like you cannot get out of and you've been kind of trying to like open doors or try things and it just has not worked out for you so it's just kind of keeping you in this um this energy of you know kind of stagnation we have the two of wands which talks about direction and um you know almost kind of like formulating it's information gathering is always kind of how i see the two of wands because you know we have a globe here there's a truck she's looking out the window like Oh, man, you know, like, what do I do? The three of wands is when you actually start going. Like you, you've you chosen a direction and you're just going to start heading in it. Um, So that, again, you know, like the block may be that you just, you cannot see a way out of maybe the situation. For some reason, like I'm getting this, um, I just got this message about like if this is a, a, a business partnership that has um, kind of run its course, um, but again, you know, like just kind of struggling to see your way out of it. Um, it could be, of course, like I said, it could be an actual like romantic relationship um that again you're just kind of struggling to get out of but like I said the message that actually came through was that it's a business partnership that maybe you're trying to figure out how to dissolve um because it just you know like you could have outgrown whatever this business is and you could be ready for something else and for the advice we have temperance and judgment so <laughs> Which is just kind of interesting because even, you know, like judgment is outgrowing yourself almost. It's a level up, right? Like um, we have the depiction of this female here and then, you know, kind of um, her soul, if you want to call it that, or essence or energy or whatever is being elevated, right? And there's this surrender in this picture also and temperance talks about patience and it's almost kind of like waiting for all of the elements to to come together and do their thing so this again is a position on clearing the block and for me like I, I just get this message of focusing on yourself and focusing on your development and growth and it's almost just kind of like waiting you know like maybe the 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 right time hasn't um presented itself yet because um all of the elements and even you know like your own growth or enlightenment or um leveling up is not complete yet so if you were to leave the situation too soon and of course if it's not safe for you um, of course, please, by all means, like find a way out, right? Like, I mean, safety first. Hello. You know, we, we put our star players first on this channel. <laughs> like, um, so, you know, I just want to say that disclaimer, right? But 
if there is a way to just, you know, like you already kind of have this understanding that you are going to leave the situation because you've outgrown it. Um, you know, it's kind of just like waiting for the rest of, um, either the information or it's also kind of like, you know, the energies out in the world have to also kind of recalibrate and, um, kind of get themselves situated. And that takes a little bit of time, right? Like we make a decision to do things or to head in a different direction. And then the, the energies that are out there have to, you know, like also be like, oh shit, uh, oh, uh, you know, like now this needs to go here and this needs to go here. And you know what I mean? So, um, it's also about kind of giving time to do that. Like there has to be some time for, for, like I said, for things to recalibrate and settle. We have the King of Wands here and the King of Wands to me is all about like being in alignment with what we want to do next. Like, you know, it's, he's very creative. He's, you know, like, uh, a, a, an entrepreneur also is very clear on the actions and the communications that he wants to take. So this could be just waiting for, and we have a lion back here that's, you know, represented on the strength card, but he's, very much again you know like this information that just kind of needs to either present itself or become available you know the wands talk about communication and action so it's waiting for um the right action but it's also being sure that like you are very much in your in alignment with where you want to go if it's a business, you know, like, you know, that you want to launch, being very clear about that. It's also communicating um, your intentions to the, the right people. Like, um, if there is kind of a more, um, you know, we have the three of wands behind that. So, you know, if there's kind of a tough conversation that even needs to be had, you know, it's um, being very clear in your communication with that, you know, like, um, but with the three of wands being underneath him, it's to me again, it just, it feels like a new direction. Like you're, you're very clear on the direction that you want to head in or the action that you want to take towards that. Um, and uh, able to like clearly communicate that to whoever. You know, I mean, you don't, you're not obligated to tell people shit if you don't want to. But of course, like, if this is some sort of partnership, I mean, you know, like, there's probably some level of obligation there. But um, let's see what energy is coming up for Aquarius. Oh, mm -mm. that was operator error. Oh, my OCD won't let me just leave these cards on jacked. Okay, I, you know what? I am going to leave it for the time being. Hmm. What is next for Aquarius? What's next? <laughs> um... I just kind of want to get everybody in here. We have the, <laughs> remember these guys? We have the two of wands. And the two of pentacles. <laughs> so, and then we have the um, five of wands underneath there. So, um, like I said, you know, just this whole little journey. <laughs> um, it's keeping your focus on the direction that you want to go in. Um, and the two of pentacles talks about balance. The pentacles have to do with our money, our jobs, our actual physical 3D body. It's the things that we can actually touch. And um, they are a little slower moving because, you know, it just, it takes time um, in the 3D world 
for um, for manifestations to, you know, kind of pay off or to kind of show themselves. So, um, and then the five of wands at the bottom of the deck talks again about, you know, with the fives being about competition and um, change, conflict, but it's like intentional um, conflict. Because again, like I was saying before, it be getting from here to here, the middle can be sometimes a little, little crazy, a little chaotic. So, um, but like this, this little section, what I'm getting is that it's almost kind of like you fought to get here. Like, you know, this is what you're fighting for, quote unquote, like fighting, right? It's like, um, this whole situation that you're kind of going through is, you know, you're putting all this time and focus into this to be able to have this vision of the direction that you want to go in to bring balance to your life in, in the form of money or a job or your body, right? Like, so it's making the decisions that align with that. And then we have, you know, like just kind of fighting to get there, you know, like, again, just really kind of keeping the focus on this flame up here. It just kind of seems like everybody is just kind of trying to get up to this flame, right? And then we have the Knight of Swords, which is very quick moving. You know, he's running towards his motorcycle there, right? So, and then we have kind of like the zeros and ones thing here. So again, this has to do like, for me about like getting the information that you need, that information came in that I was talking about before, where you can just take off and, you know, like move quick if you want to. And again, like, you know, swords have our air cards. So it's moving in your own energy. It's alignment with your own energy. And then we have the sun card underneath that, which is, you know, like joy, happiness, victory, all of the, all of the good feels is wrapped up in the sun card. So, you know, I mean, you might be in a bit of a struggle right now. <laughs> and, um, that's not always a fun place to be, but you are, heading out of it. There is a path out of it. And, you know, sometimes it sucks to just kind of sit in it and just wait for the, the things to come to us that like the, again, the information that we need to get out of it, but it's coming, right? So I'm going to leave it there. I also love how much information is even on this table. Like <laughs> you are the first um, the first sign to ever get two cards in every position. So there's even a lot of information on this table, right? So, um, again, you know, like there is, there is information <laughs> coming or has arrived or it's just kind of, you know, but there is, like I said, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff even on this table here. So we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for your time. And of course, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.